G'day team, Jeremy Britton, 24 hour wealth coach, down on the beach just after sunrise. Feeling very mellow after my meditation this morning and want to share a very personal story with you. Not just because I want to get personal, not because I want to embarrass anybody, but because I'm hoping that through my story you may identify some similarities with your story and this may actually help you out. Now, the one thing that will actually stop you from getting where you want in life, from getting the relationships you want, getting the success that you want, one thing that will actually stop you is the stories that you tell yourself. I used to tell myself a lot of stories and I'm sure other people can identify with you seeing some person having some level of success in their health, in their life, in their relationships, and you say, oh, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that because of X, Y, Z. And you have an excuse and a story you tell yourself. And when you tell yourself that story, that gives you an excuse for not actually taking action towards the thing that you want. Now, as I said, I had lots and lots of stories, many stories. And as a younger man, one of the stories that I used to tell myself, probably when I was in my 30s, is that my little sister was a rat. I used to tell myself that story. And I had plenty of reasons and plenty of other stories to back up that story. Now, as an older and wiser man, I can look back and say, you know what? My little sister was hurting. I was too ignorant at the time to realise that. And I actually met somebody in a seminar once and I was just talking to them about my family. And I told them the story about my little sister was a rat. Why was my little sister a, was a rat? Well, she'd actually met a bloke that she probably shouldn't have. She'd put some things into her body that she probably shouldn't have. She'd done all things and she'd said things to me and against me that she probably shouldn't have. And I was telling this person about why my little sister was a rat. And this person, in their infinite wisdom, they just said, well, you've told me a lot of stuff about what your sister has done, but what's she like, really, as a person? And I went, wow, interesting question. And I said, well, my sister is actually, she's very, very beautiful. She's been an actress and she's been a model. She's also very talented in the areas of modeling, acting, singing. She's incredibly beautiful. Um, she's talented. She's also very nice on the inside. She's kind and she's gentle and she's got a, a hippie background and she's actually a very, very lovely person. And even as I was telling this story, I had the realisation inside of myself, oh my God, I've been so horrible to my little sister just because of a few things that she's done in the, in the recent past and kind of ignoring all of the things that she'd done throughout her whole life. And as I sort of started breaking down, as I was, I was talking to this person, I decided there and then that I was going to go and call my sister, who I hadn't spoken to for a couple of years because of the, the stories I'd been telling myself. And um, I started to realise, why did I actually tell myself these stories? Why did, I, why did I make it so easy to start hating on my sister when she'd done a couple of things wrong? And maybe she was just hurting, maybe she just made mistakes, maybe she's just human like the rest of us. Why did I find it so easy to start hating on her? And I went back before she'd done these horrible things, did I hate her before? Was there a little part of me that hated her before that? And I kept going back to previous incidents, well that's not it, that's not it. Yes, I started hating on her because of this and you know, perhaps I was jealous of her because of that. But as I went all the way back, right back to my very first memories, I went, oh my God the reason why I found it so easy to be hating on my sister and be jealous of my sister was the day she was born. I was four years old, I was the, the first boy in the family and I got all of mum's attention, I was the baby, I was the little one, I was the cute one and then my sister came home from the hospital. All of a sudden all my mum's attention was on my little sister and no longer on me. So as a four-year-old, I made up a story about, you know, mum doesn't love me anymore or, you know, this little pink thing has come home from the hospital and has taken my mother away from me and taken all the attention. So as a four-year-old, I found it very easy to start hating on that little pink bundle before she'd even done anything, before she'd even sort of saw the first nappy. I found it very easy to start hating on it for no reason, no fault of her own. And of course, throughout the next 20, 30 years of her life, what have she done? I found it very easy to start hating on it because of this little part of me that already did. 
Now, when I had the conversation with my sister, and I actually said to her, look, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I've just been feeding this little tiny part of me that actually was hating on you from the day you were born. There's a much bigger part of me that loves you and recognizes you for who you truly are on the inside, not for the things that you've done, but for who you are. It's a big part of me that loves you. There's just this little part of me that actually hates you, and here's why. It wasn't your fault. It was just my story that I told myself when you were born. Now, of course, we both had a big cry. Um, and as far as I know, that little part of me, that little four-year-old inside of me that's hateful and, and jealous of my sister is still alive. It's still there, a little tiny part of it. But I no longer feed it. And now that I've cleared the air with my sister, I can actually stand back and we can stand back and we can look at that little part, not being in it, not being involved in it. We can stand back separately from the story, look at the story and be on the same side looking at the story and saying, isn't that silly? That's not necessarily true. That's just a story that I told myself. Now, since then, I've discovered in my dad's family there's stories and illustrations of jealousy. I think when my, my grandmother died, uh, my dad's brother found out for probably the first time that you know, my dad had actually taken my grandmother to her 90th birthday in a helicopter. And that was a big thing, that was kind of pretty exciting. Um, when I was talking to my grandmother at her 90th birthday, she actually revealed to me on tape that it was the second time in her life she'd been in a helicopter. The previous time she'd been up in a helicopter was shortly after World War II. And my father was only four years old at the time and she knew, she said to me, she knew that if she, she went up in a helicopter by, himself, by herself and he would howl. So she put him between her legs, which what she wasn't supposed to do, and took him up in the helicopter. Now, I don't think my dad actually knew that story. And my grandmother confessed to me on tape. I actually gave a copy of the tape to my dad and to his brothers. Now that could have possibly contributed to the jealousy because in my situation, you know, I was the older sibling and as soon as the younger one came along, I felt very jealous. Possibly in my dad's situation, his older brother felt jealous of him not for anything that he'd done, but just the mere fact that he came along and he got a bit more attention from mum. And the story of going up in the helicopter when he was four years old would just add more fuel to the fire of reasons why I'm jealous of him and I can hate on him. Not because of anything he's done, but it's just a story that I'm telling myself. So there you go, two very personal stories from my family history. I'm hoping that these stories have actually shone a bit of a light on something for you where you can realise that the stories that you tell yourself are not necessarily true. And if you're telling stories about someone else is better than me, someone else gets more love than me, someone else gets more attention than me, it's not necessarily true. Any size, decent sized family, there's going to be a level of jealousy and insecurity, but it doesn't have to be there. It's just stories that you tell yourself, and once you stand outside of the story, you can realise what's actually true, what's not true, you can talk to the other person about the story and you can realise the story is stopping you from being where you want to be, having the relationships that you want to have, having the success that you want to have. And it's time to drop the story and move on to be really where you want to be. Hope you've enjoyed that. Let me know, leave me a comment if you actually enjoyed me getting personal. Otherwise next time we'll just talk about money and life and stuff like that. Talk to you soon down on the beach or at 24hourworldcoach.com.